President Shiri Kaguta Museveni has graced the closure of the four-day light-up at Choli Land for Jesus Mission 2023 crusade that has been taking place in Gulu district. This religious gathering hosted by Pastor Patience Rabogo of Covenant Nations Church brought together believers from across the Acholi region. Addressing the gathering, President Museveni shed light on the evolving relationship between the government of Uganda and the born-again Christian community. The president was also happy to note that the religious group which they wanted him to ban has now proved to be a formidable force, helping the government to drive its socio-economic transformation agenda. I said, but do you remember Jesus? When people came and told him that somebody was pretending to cast out demons like Jesus, and then said, what should we do to him? Should we stop him or not? Jesus said, no, leave him. If he's not against us, he's with us. That, that's what I, I, I told uh, some, some of the people. You, you leave those people, if they are telling lies, God will deal with them. So now, these people who were shouting and so on, they seem to have grown in numbers. He also pledged to give two tractors to the born again Christians in Acholi sub-region to help them fulfill the four dimensions of Jesus, which include working with their hands to transform their livelihoods. On the issue of a power land conflict, the president assured the people of Acholi that government is already handling the matter following the establishment of the Judicial Commission of Inquiry. What is the problem? Whether, whether the power is in, in Madi or in Acholi, People who have been living there legally and truthfully, not, not, not Goba, we live there. So, what are you fighting for? So that's why. We have now appointed a commission of inquiry, or a judicial commission of inquiry. And all those who have been making people suffer will now have to answer. Because the judicial commission of inquiry is not like what we are doing, you know, we, we send, send Rubunda, I think, I don't remember whom we say. These are not judges. These are administrative bodies. But a judicial commission of inquiry if you go before it and you tell a lie, you have committed perjury. On her part, Pastor Patience Rabogo of Covenant Nations informed President Museveni that the four day crusade has been life changing to them and she believes that it has given a new lease of life to Acholi land. There was powerful repentance between the Acholi leaders and the Langi, between the Acholi and Karamajong and Iteso and Madi and Baganda and Banyankore and vice versa. And we closed the day with celebration and with the anointing of the land as a symbol of a new beginning and the Holy Spirit. The Minister of State for Northern Uganda, Honorable Grace Fidom Kuichwini, informed the gathering that although guns have gone silent in Northern Uganda, the people are still hurting, and reconciliation will be the only way to bring the people together to work for development. This ceremony was attended by senior pastors from across the country and representatives from other religious denominations.